Here we go. We're looking forward to see the mysterious box he had not from Ops. Oh, you're serious, right? It's not mysterious. Um, now you're moving. Practicing my forward and backward. Back and forth. This is one of the training steps that's recommended. Keeping huh. on is tricky. <laughs> Boy, is this hard on the feet. Especially 57 year old feet like mine. Uh huh. <laughs> They're burning, so I know what they mean about conditioning. Yeah, you try and get a feel for how it responds going forward and backward. I'm not sure my feet are necessarily in the right spot, hard to say. I think I'm a little too far back. But it's not bad. We're supposed to stand straight up and practice going forward and backward because that's the acceleration and the braking motion of the device. So, we'll see. You should have seen me when I first started trying this forward and back. Yeah, all it was very jerky and it was very weird. It's still very jerky, but it's amazing. After about three to four minutes, you get a feel for what the motor is trying to do. Ooh. So, I'm still using the cabinet for lateral balance before and aft. I'm starting to get a feel for what the wheel wants to do as you lean forward and backward. I can see where backward is going to be a tricky skill. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's not bad. I can see myself getting the hang of this. Which is good. Ooh, <laughs> sexy. Ooh. After 10 minutes. Ooh. Getting there? Whoa, improving. It's weird, I can go this way, but I have trouble coming back. <laughs> I don't know if it's because it gets narrow and it's a psychological thing or what. It will take time. <laughs> you know what I mean? At least you're improving now. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to practice it. You start to get a feel for what it's doing. But it uh -huh. And then the next day. <laughs>